When I was little, my dad went to Africa, and when he came back, he was just telling me all these amazing stories, and I was like, I want to go there one day. He finally got to take me, and I see why he loved it so much. The people, the land, the animals. My dad, he's helped many people around the world in just showing them the true meaning of hunting. And I just, I want to be one of those role models that can show to the people around me and kids my age, even kids older than me, that hunting has a meaning and that it really helps the animals and the land and just really grow on how we can all help and hunt. and. I just want to keep hunting and keep helping and just have fun. Blue Collar Adventures, proudly sponsored by Low T Center, reinventing men's health care. And it was also awesome to have Crystal with us and her filming and every now and then she would grab her bow and go out and hunt and me and my dad would go together and Simone.
box. Nothing else is coming in. Someone has to do the dirty work. Somebody has to do the dirty work. Especially when that's all that's coming in. Solid world. On Jarrow. There, there's your war dog. Yeah. We're doing a little bit of culling today. Get rid of some of these other mouths to feed since it's so bad of a drought here. The dirt has been blowing all day long in our blind. There's just no grass. Nothing for them to eat. So we're gonna get some meat. Do a little bit of culling. Blue Collar Adventures, proudly sponsored by Low T Center, reinventing men's health care. Wilderness Athlete, fuel for the rugged. Kuyu, Ultra Light Hunting. 40 Fit Radio, Psionics, Digital Night Vision. The best of the West shooting system. Hemsbuck. Hemsbuck. We got a vendetta with a Hemsbuck. What do you think? You want to go to the blind? Maybe try the crossbow from Matthews out? Yeah. Get a little more uh, up close and personal. That's what's great about Carson got a new mission bow. We've been practicing, but we're not quite to the poundage we want to be to hunt Africa. So mission has a crossbow now that allows younger hunters, ladies maybe to come over here and have that bow hunting experience without having to pull 70 pounds. These animals are tough. You need to pull some poundage. We practice a lot, but I know how good you shoot with a scope. And uh, 200 pounds, it didn't make a big difference. Let's go to the blind. After five hours in the blind, we were getting tired, and then all of a sudden, this huge blue wildebeest steps in. And all of us were like, oh my gosh. And my heart was beating fast. We got the crossbow on. And we were just r waiting for that perfect shot. Amazing to see how she, she could manage, you know, because the pressure is quite high when you're that close to an animal. And uh, it's amazing to see how she can handle that uh, pressure and kept her, kept her cool. Simone, he can pick up anything, and he found some blood, and he took us right to him in a pile of brush, and he was down. And if you don't have the best guys in the business, good luck, because <laughs> you can make a perfect shot. Look at the brush around us. Tough animals. Yep. We got him down. <laughs> good job, Carson, on your blue. You made a great shot with your crossbow, and we found him. Yeah, we found him. I'm so Simone, happy. <laughs> Simone here. I'm happy, too. Thanks, Simone. Give Simone a hug. <laughs> Oh, oh. very cool. Old bull, Carson. Old bull. Guys, he's a big one. It's a big bull. Super wide. Yeah. Good shot, baby. Watch him. First crossbow. First harvest with a crossbow. How was that archery? Bug. Oh, 
That was so fun. I mean, that crossbow is amazing. It's so light and easy to shoot. You can just get it out there real good. And it's really exciting to know that I just did that with a crossbow. And I've never done that with an arrow before. And it's just super exciting. Thanks to Simone, we found him. <laughs> is his eye missing on this side? No. Yeah, his eye's missing. <gasps> what the heck? He's blind, isn't he? He's blind. Yeah. <laughs> blind? <laughs> <laughs> is the other one? No, he got one. Waiting for something to come out. We had a lot of animals come out today. We got to see a lot of cool things. And then this huge blue wildebeest just walked out. He strutted out there. He was beautiful. And uh, I made a good shot with my crossbow. I'm very happy I did that. We couldn't come into the brush with a crossbow, though, so we brought the gun just in case anything happened. But Simone tracked him. He's an amazing tracker. He tracked him all the way in this brush and found blood and found him down. And I'm super stoked right now. It's just an amazing experience, an amazing blue wildebeest. It's just, it's crazy. He's an old bull. He's beautiful. I just can't believe it. Blue Collar Adventures, proudly sponsored by Cinnamon Creek Archery, Spot Hog, Matthews, Vortex, The Force Synoptics, Traeger Wood Pellet Grills, Pinnacle Hunting Supplies. So I had a Matthews mission bow and I'd been practicing really hard with it. But after a while of talking about it, these animals in Africa, they're big and they're strong. And I just didn't want to risk wounding one. And so we decided that we were going to use the Sub one crossbow, Matthews, and I just had so much fun with that, shooting a crossbow for my first time. this one. Oh, thank you very much. You helped. Yeah. You helped the oryx. Oh, very old. Old female. Check yes. Only bones. Yeah. There's no meat anymore. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. It was suffering. Yeah. Yeah. You helped him. Seeing if it was a female or a male and then we realized how old she was and how sick she was. She had her hip bones were sticking out, her back bones. She just didn't look good. Her her cape was all messed up and she wasn't doing too well. She was suffering pretty bad. And as a hunter, even though we were hunting for something else, you, you gotta help the animals. We're not just out here to come kill trophies. We're out here to help the ones that need it. So now we can rather use that meat for, for the staff or whatever, you know, it doesn't go to waste. It'll rain on vacation. He's our fearless leader. Louis. <laughs> Very stressed. Oh, I'm not stressed. <laughs> Staff is just Louis, on out. camera, who was late this morning? I wasn't late. No, <laughs> who was? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, Jay's like, let's pack and get ready so we leave right We're not late. Back. What was our schedule? We could have hunted You're, it by now this morning. Your o'clock <laughs> was our schedule. Never enough, is it? <laughs> 
doing 60 kilometers an hour. This one was faster than us. <laughs> doing good. Don't run your neck off in the fence, please. <laughs> So I love the beach and of course I wanted to see the beach in Africa and we took a little break from hunting and we went out to the coast and it was just beautiful and we got to fish a little bit. Well, we don't just do the trophy hunting and the hunting, it's, it's uh, all about what else can we offer you. So, we do side trips where we take you to the coast. Uh, we have a wonderful coastline where the desert meets up with the coast and it's awesome to see the big dunes. Uh, the Namib Desert is one of the oldest deserts in the world. Um, the oldest desert and uh, it's beautiful. We, there's a lot of stuff to do like fishing, great shark fishing. Uh, we do a lot of uh, boat fishing as well. Um, dune riding, buggy riding. There's so much stuff to keep the family busy with only then just hunting and uh, that's the part that we want to share with our people, our hunters and show them the beauty of Namibia and, and it's always nice that people love it to go see the rest of the country, the desert which is something really spectacular than, than what you always will find anywhere else so um, it's fun sharing the different cultures, showing them how people live, how they uh, interact. <laughs> We're at the coast in Africa. How do you say the name? I don't even know. What's this Secret spot. Look who's got. Crystal, bring your fly rod. We went fishing, but we didn't catch a lot. That's why my dad has a hunting show. But it was just amazing to see the water and all the shells and the sand. And I just loved it. Even though the water was really cold, it was beautiful, and I had the best time of my life. Cooler for a fish. <laughs> They're big here. It was beautiful. We had some fun together. We went to cool restaurants and I had my first oyster. <laughs> we had some crazy exotic food and it was just a lot of bonding there at the coast and I loved it. it Let's just have a small beer. Look all our adventures. <laughs> <laughs> tough. Yeah. <laughs> every day in Africa 
Me and my dad definitely got closer. It was, it was stressful sometimes, it was fun sometimes. We had the time of our lives. We had a lot of food in the blinds. We took some naps and my dad, he found this lucky game on his phone and it's called Angry Birds. And every time he played that game, an animal would come in. So now that's our lucky game for hunting. Shooting. Ah! No, you missed him. <laughs>